A child can, at a certain point, become the subject of a media story. In such situations, there are a set of rules which have to be followed by specialists working with children. In order to protect the child, the parents or legal guardians should also know these rules. When media representatives are looking for some information, or the specialists and the institution itself consider the case should be made public, they should take these three aspects into account. The first important aspect is the public interest, or, in other words, the objective interest of the population to know what happened in a specific case. The second very important aspect, but which complicates the specialist speech, is the rights of individuals involved. We are specifically talking here about the right to privacy and the presumption of innocence. These rights are valid for both adults and children. Moreover, when children are involved, we protect these rights even more, because we think from the perspective of applying the principle of the child's best interest. And thirdly, the specialists take into account the obligations and interests of the institutions they represent. When we talk about public interest, we mean an objective, justified interest of the population to know about important phenomena in the society, and not just simple curiosity for the sensational, for private, macabre details, etc. If, for example, a 10 or 12 year old child has murdered someone, then it is important to bring the case to public attention, but not the name of the child or other personal data or pictures from the crime scene. It is important to specialist or the institution make an analysis and correctly weigh the type of information the public has a right to know and the details which just satisfy the curiosity of the public. When we are talking about the rights of individuals involved, specifically the right to private and family life, and the right to protection of personal data, and we're talking about children either being victims or suspected of crimes, or even convicted minors, the media is obliged to protect them, to not disclose their name, address, parents, school, or municipality. This way it gives them a better chance for rehabilitation if they are victims, and for correction and social reintegration if they are children who committed crimes. When approached by the media, the specialist will talk about the deed and the events, but will not give details to allow the children involved in a specific case to be identified. When we talk about the presumption of innocence, we mean the legal provision according to which any individual accused of a crime is presumed innocent until legally proven guilty in a public trial in which all guarantees for defense have been ensured. So, only at the end of the trial will we know if the individual is indeed guilty. For this reason, the specialists must use the terms defining the legal status of the prosecuted individual correctly. Suspect, accused, culprit, and must treat the suspected individual from a neutral position and avoid information from the perspective of the accuser.
The presumption of innocence is one of the reasons we must protect the identity of the suspects of crimes, particularly when they are minors, because herein lies the child's best interest. There were also some exceptions to the rule. The full identity of a minor suspect can be disclosed if the public interest for knowing who that person is outweighs the private right to protection. For example, if there is a very dangerous, wanted young person with aggressive behavior and, by being at large, they pose a potential threat for the people of the country or the region. In addition to the above, the specialists must keep in mind they also represent an institution having obligations to the population and is usually financed from the public budget. The institution, by default, must respond to the needs of the population to observe the laws and people's rights. Among the expectations of the population from a public institution are transparency, respectful and open specialists, including in their contact with the media. The specialists should not avoid the media or in any other ways reject it. On the contrary, the specialists should see in the media an opportunity to inform the public on issues of public interest. For example, if a specialist says, no comment, it will be a disservice to their institution. These words show incompetence or insecurity. Accordingly, for the public this will be a clue that the institution or the specialist is conspiring to withhold important information. An institution represented this way will lose its credibility. In conclusion, a few recommendations for the specialists approached by media. Respond to information requests from the media, but only provide information of public interest. Respect the rights of individuals involved and protect the child's image and private data. Provide clear, concise answers, leaving no room for interpretation. Do not feel obligated to answer just any random question merely because it was asked. For issues of public interest, prepare a press release in advance. Protect the children.